Well, some Gwinnett County parents are on edge tonight after a violent attack at a school. The district says a student at Brookwood High School was stabbed several times today by another student. 11 Live's Bo Beth Yates is joining us live right now. So, Bo Beth, you've been following this story for us. Any new details tonight? Well, Faith, school officials tell me within minutes of learning of this incident, they had eyes on the suspect, who is also another student. This type of behavior won't be tolerated at Brookwood High School. This is a safe school, and the student made poor decisions to attack a classmate. Bernard Watson with Gwinnett County Public Schools is referring to a violent incident that led to a student being carried off campus on a stretcher. Shortly after 10.15 this morning, school administrators uh, were walking through the hall and they heard a commotion in a restroom. When they went in, they found a student who had suffered several injuries to his body. It apparently looked like he had been stabbed. Officials have confirmed the student was stabbed several times by one of his classmates. And while they could not provide details of his injuries, they say he's expected to survive. Watson adds this incident was isolated between the students. The suspect then left campus and was arrested a short time later, and the school was never placed on lockdown. Within minutes of, of discovering the student who was injured, he was on the way to the hospital. Uh, within 35 minutes of this incident starting, police had arrested a suspect and were uh, taking him to jail. This is video of that arrest. School officials are not disclosing the name of the suspect at this time, but they say he will be held accountable for the attack. When you attack someone with a knife and stab him multiple times, there will be serious criminal charges as well as school disciplinary consequences. We certainly understand the concern of parents when something like this happens, but it's important to remember that Brookwood High School is a safe school. Uh, this is a very unfortunate incident, uh, and administrators are already reviewing the safety measures that we have in place to ensure that something like this doesn't happen again. Again, school officials say they're not releasing details about that victim's injuries, but say he's expected to survive. At this time, neither the victim nor the suspect's name is being released. Sending it back to you. Baba, thank you so much. Well, this is just the latest violent situation at a Metro County High School. Just this month, four students were shot in a drive-by shooting at Benjamin E. Mays High School in Atlanta just after dismissal. At Tri-Cities High in East Point, a 10th grader was shot multiple times, later dying following a basketball game. Another person was stabbed after that same, same game. And in Cobb County, two people were shot in McEachern High School's parking lot after a